active expressions. Okay. Active expressions to engage abilities. Okay, so let's start with kids doing projects with the active board. So what are some examples of projects that you think your class would enjoy doing on the active board? Are there any ideas? One that I can suggest is um, a continuous timeline. And I actually talked about those and I think that would be a really interesting one. Mm -hmm. A multimedia report, that's the excellent one. Great. Any other ideas of projects to do on the active board? Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams, yes, excellent. Okay, so here we have kids doing projects with the active board. We have some examples of ones you can do in your classroom. Continuous timeline, multimedia report, Venn diagrams. Active expressions to gauge abilities. Assessment. So, yes, assessment. And this is a good way to really get continuous assessment, which I know is very important in your classroom. Because kids do change, and our abilities will uh, evolve over time. And so, continuous assessment is really important in finding out our abilities. Interests. Gain it, yeah. <laughs> Interests. Gaining? Did I really hear no, that? I was going to say gain interest. Oh, gaining interest. <laughs> The students get immediate feedback on whether or not Immediate feedback. Humor. 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 How many of you are bored right now? Think yes or no. Totally. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. Yes, and actually, um, active expressions, uh, you don't actually have to just use them to gauge abilities, although that is probably one of the biggest things that I would use them for, but you can really use them to lighten up the mood because I know a lot of classrooms can be too serious for some kids. And so putting in a humorous question here and there, what does your tongue feel like right now? A, slimy, B, cold, C, et cetera, you know, whatever. And that, that can really get kids laughing and get them interested. Or get us interested, yeah. Humor, immediate feedback, interest in gaining interest, in continuous assessment, to gauge abilities, very good. So any other things that you would like to bring up? Yes? Control. Having students create sequence of events because it forces the student um, into metacognition so that when they learn something more complicated, they already understand the thought process. Okay, so when they face more complicated issues, they already understand it. Oops, it's getting a little bit on the instrument. us some pointers as to what we need to improve, what we need to work on in our teaching, and that really links in with continuous assessment. If we see the kids are repeatedly not getting a certain concept, we understand maybe we need to change something with how we are introducing this concept. So it can be a continuous assessment for them and immediate feedback for us and for them. So that definitely active expressions are really uh, multi-use. Okay, and now, do we all know how to insert questions, right? I think we're all familiar with that. So we can insert a question like that. And what I want to do is have you create a question that you think you could use with your gifted students that would be a, a good way to understand how you are teaching and whether they are understanding what you are saying. So create a question to your students that would let you understand your own teaching and what you need to create and work on. So any ideas as far as creating a question that would help you see what you need to work on to the students? What is your weakest area? What is your weakest area? Okay. Because a lot of times we give the children this is it's not about what they know, it's about what they don't know, what they feel. So about having to be able to 
evaluate themselves, it gives a teacher an insight of what they need assistance in. Okay, what is your weakest area? Now, as far as wording goes, I'm wondering if what is your weakest area? Or weakest strength, oh, well, the weakest strength of the where you're most challenged. Yes, where maybe where are you challenged yes. would be a good one. Because yes. I think that, that we hear maybe what is your weakest area? Our you know idea of being strong and tough and all kind of kicks in. We're like, we're not weak. So yeah, definitely wording as far as questions go is really important. Where are you challenged? Where are you challenged? Yes. And then also a good thing, so we have where are you challenged? And we can ask students this, and we can get answers, and we can tell them that it's going to be anonymous. So in that way, then we are able to receive their feedback and receive what they're witnessing, but without embarrassing them, maybe if it's something that everybody else is good at. So I think that that is a really positive tool to say this is going to be anonymous, and we're not going to reveal who you are in front of everybody else so that they won't be afraid. Challenge is an excellent one. Okay, so now what I want to do is ask you about your own gifted students and what you think they are most challenged by in the classroom. 